Well, this is it. Lady Asper's domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep, now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way, but you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the Icors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. It is unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the Vampire Hunters? They will never stop searching for William Marshall, for he escaped their two great hunts. Remember that you too are now on their dark list. What will become of the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood is as wise as it is ancient. You have nothing to fear from it. I am not afraid. Do you truly think they are merely scholars poring over dusty books? The stole of St. Paul wielded faith sufficient to cast a dragon into the abyss. That is just a legend. 
Am I not a legend? Are you not about to become one yourself? No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons. And to bid them fairly well. Your sons? Plural. My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed, that which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly, then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you. It's locked. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in.
Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. This castle is falling apart. That sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. This painting looks suspicious. A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch, and... Here's another switch. I should keep looking. One last switch, and... What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch, and... Here's another switch. I should keep looking. One last switch. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. One last switch, and... Voila. Drop your Nothing to be afraid of. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. Blood is approaching. Old but young. Strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, Father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. 
Goshen, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, Father. What took you so long, Jonathan? Is this really him? Yes. This is William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and savior of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place. It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became... unwell. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes, to end it once and for all. Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who is about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. The city has suffered, but it will prevail in the end. A more cynical analysis would be that this is an acceptable catastrophe. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this, through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil, she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. My corrupted blood of hate. The poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier. That's all I am. Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him? You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty Ekon, who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire, driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. No redemption, then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels, to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But, you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. 
The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. William Marshall infected you. He is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me by sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. To you, I am Elizabeth Ashbury. And that's all I wish to be. I need to know more. I want to know who you really are. Where you were born, where you lived. I was born Elizabeth Samantha Mary Englewood in 1551 in Hertfordshire. My parents owned a pub in Hoddesdon. Are you satisfied? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an echo for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. He is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse, forgetting the danger as you turned your back like the newborn fool you were. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Yes, Sir William. My god, you really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak, for my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want then? I found your research on the antidote. The tears of the angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. King Richard and Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. The Order of St. Paul, I believe. And did it work? Yes. 
The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. You also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, Please, tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift and implacable. Where did you encounter such creatures? The last time I saw one was in a Celtic temple near Salisbury. A terrible and godforsaken place full of ghosts and pestilence. Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen? What of her? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. Do you remember Murden? Your maker. Only God is my maker, for he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat, infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again? Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. 
I swore I would find a way to make things right. How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. You agreed to be confined here then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. Has the time come? Yes, Father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. sword you bear, for it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. <gasps> Farewell, father. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death, Jonathan. Wherever I go, I can't stand it. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden. Chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic, I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. <sighs> that is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? Have you not betrayed me? I had choices to make. I forgive you. And that is my choice. <sighs> Elizabeth, I love you. Then let me go now. Wait! No!
One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, but the cost was dire. Blood and tears, both parched by cleansing flames. You've lost your way, my champion bittersweet. I am moved to pity as I feel your rampant rage void of purpose or meaning. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber. Until alas, she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. Okay, um, yeah, I guess that's the ending of the game. Um, yeah, it was really good. Well, you know, I'm not going to say it was really good because there were some parts that really pissed me off. I hated the fact that we ran out of stamina constantly when, like, you know, fighting. Like, he's a vampire, you know, he's dead. They don't, you know, last time I checked, the undead, they don't rely, rely on stamina and energy when they do certain tasks or do, do tasks at all. Like, you know, they don't have stamina. They can run forever until their body falls apart. But then again, I guess it's different for uh, vampires. I'm not sure. But, yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that really pisses me off about that. You know, he's a vampire. You're super strong. You shouldn't have to run out of energy. Um... What else pissed me off? Um, it was really annoying how the the enemies they kept spawning back constantly. The enemies really got annoying after a while. Like you know, I run through an area, and not that after I slept, but like after I sleep, I can understand enemies having to spawn back to give me a, a you know a challenge when I need to make it to a certain area. But sometimes when I didn't wait another night or didn't level up, it just the enemies would just come back and it would be a nuisance, and that was really annoying as well. Um. What else did I hate? I hated... I won't lie. Because I did die a few times when I fought the bosses. I hated the fact that it didn't play the cutscenes again. Like, I couldn't... I wanted it so bad for, like, me to be able to use... Uh certain cutscenes like like when I fought Fergal I couldn't get that cutscene again when he was fighting the skulls and the sword like you know I wanted to be able to show that and I couldn't do that because you know the cutscene once it plays is it and I figured out that I had to quit as soon as I died I quit immediately and then come back in order to save the cutscene I think that's what how it works I'm not sure but yeah that's another thing that really pissed me off I, I would have had Fergal uh, the whole cutscene with him and, and the cutscene with another boss fight I think I had I forgot what the other boss fight but yeah Fergal was the first boss that I ever fought he I feel like he shouldn't have been first because he was too big like you know a big guy like him should be like the second to last boss you fight like you know what I mean and not the first dude you fight is this big badass dude like no that didn't make any sense why they pick him as the first first boss you really like you know at first like a legit boss you fight um what else? I like the dialogue. I will say I did like the dialogue of the game. I like how sophisticated it was. Um, long, but I wanted to make sure I got everything for everyone who whoever wants to watch my playthroughs. People who want to know everything about what's going on, I ask all the questions before I proceed on to the next you know topic at hand. When I'm talking to somebody, I like to ask them a lot of questions so that. You know, people get to know the characters. They get to know what's going on in the game. You know, what happened. If I didn't show it. Um, if I had to rate this game, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, I, I, originally I was at a 2. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of um, impressed with the game. A little bit. Like, it's about an average game. It's not great, but it's, it's average. Um... But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I play the next game, and uh, yeah, peace.